Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant. And in this Canva guide, you're going to learn how to make awesome looking thumbnails in Canva in 10 minutes or less. Although it'll take me a little longer than 10 minutes to explain it, but you'll be pumping out thumbnails in record time. Timestamps below along with some other helpful videos that goes through other things you can make in Canva like eBooks. So let's go ahead, jump on in. This is the thumbnail we'll be building in this particular tutorial as an example. And when it comes to the dimensions, you can just, whenever you log into your account, whether you're doing free or paid, I'll sh show where the differences are as we go through this. You can just go ahead and search YouTube thumbnails. And as you do, you'll see all of these YouTube related templates that you can choose from. I just went ahead and clicked on thumbnails. Of course, you can start from a blank template or you can go through some of the templates they, that they have and start from there. I'm going to start from scratch. So we'll go back to my design and I will scroll up here. And the first thing we want to do is talk about how on earth you remove the background, whether you're doing the free version or the paid version, and then also how you can actually make this white silhouette. So when it comes to removing background, you have two options. If you have the paid version, you can actually just click on your the picture of you, and let's just say there isn't a background, and you can just click on background remover. It does a really good job. Now, if you are using Canva, the free version, you're not going to be able to do this, but you can just go ahead and Google search free background remover. There are a bunch of different tools out there that will automatically remove the background for you. And if that doesn't work, you can open up PowerPoint. And when you do, you can click on the picture that you want to remove the background from, and you can just click on remove background and you'll be actually, actually start to be able to draw and pencil in what you do and do not want to show. Is it as good as Photoshop? Of course not. But if you already have PowerPoint, it is a free solution. And that's actually what I used to do. And of course, the third option is just heading over to Fiverr for five or 10 bucks. Someone can remove the background of 20 of 10 to 20 of your images. So that does it for removing the background. So I'm going to assume that you've somehow been able to go from a blank, <laughs> uh, blank sheet to the background removed. So now I want to show you how to actually create this silhouette. So a shout out to my team because they're the ones that figured this out. So the first thing you want to do is actually copy or you can come up here and click on, where is it, duplicate here or command D or control D on a Windows or a Mac to duplicate it. And then we can just go ahead and click and drag over to the side. This is the ridiculous face that we'll be using. And sometimes I think my team just likes making fun of me, right? So here we go, they chose this one. We'll go ahead and click on the original image we have. And we're going to go to the duo tone here and you can just click on either one of them. Let's go ahead and do pop. And once you do, you'll see these little slider icons pop up. So we can go and click on those and then we can change the highlights. So what we want to do is change all the highlights to white. So if we come up here and we just click and drag. Now what's really cool about this is you can do other colors as well if you don't want to have a white silhouette. Maybe you want a blue or a yellow or purple or pink silhouette. This will actually work as well. And you see we've highlights and shadows, we both dragged to white. And now we have a great looking image that is all one solid color that we can use. Now, a quick little asterisk here. It is going to be really obvious <laughs> if the background was not removed correctly. So what you're seeing is an image that we used in Canva to remove the background. But if there's any, any blemishes or maybe there's a little piece of the background that wasn't removed, you're going to see that in this silhouette. And so if you find that to be the case, there's actually another way you can do this. But we'll just go ahead and finish this example. So we now obviously if we put them the exact same size, you won't be able to see the white silhouette. So all you need to do is click and drag yourself over a little bit. And then if you want it to go the other side here, all we need to do is copy or make a duplicate here and then center it and drag it over just slightly. And now we can click on our version of ourselves that isn't all one color and click on position and then click forward. And so it's in the front and then we can click and drag and center it just like that. And now we have a nice silhouette uh, that's outlining ourselves. And so of course you can click and drag, play with the colors as well. But once you have a version that you like, what I recommend doing is clicking and dragging and you're going to select all three. So we have two silhouettes and they're just slightly off of each other. And then we have the actual picture that we want. 
and we can come up here and click on group. And that way, when we come and click and drag, the silhouette stays with us. So we'll go ahead and bring the image over here to the side. And now we have a background removed and we have an image of ourselves. All right, awesome. So now it's time to figure out the text. So obviously we want the text to be nice and big because if we shrink this down, it's not going to be super easy to, we want it to be super easy to read once the thumbnail has been made smaller. So what I like doing is figuring out what text I want on the thumbnail. So here I want YouTube thumbnail in 10 minutes and 10 minutes or less. So what we can do is we can click on the text icon here and then we can add our text. So you do have a lot of options in terms of getting really fancy with some of the presets that they have. Just keep in mind that whatever you choose needs to be really easy to read small and you can always just come down here and change the preview. So I like going to 25 and then making sure that the text is actually easy to read. You can see we came up with a lot of different examples while we were trying to figure out how to easily explain this. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to fit so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to just select the normal text and then I'll change the styles. So I'll skip ahead to when I have all my text here. And now that we have all of the text, we can go ahead and just select all of it and then drag it to make it bigger. And, or you can go ahead and click on the individual one that you want and go ahead and just type in the font size that you want it to be. So I'll make this top one 90 and then we'll make this one, let's just make it all even 70 and we'll bring this one up to 90 as well. And now that it's large enough for people to read, even when it's a small thumbnail, we can go ahead and start making changes and stylizing it. So I'm going to change YouTube to a nice red color to represent YouTube. And that doesn't look too well, doesn't go too well with the background. So what I'll do is I'll come up here to elements and then I will click on the square icon here and I will format the square. You see Canva's smart. It knows that I wanna put the square behind it and I will put the square behind YouTube. And we'll click and drag to format a little bit. And then what we'll want to do is, if I go down to the example, you see it's, they're both kind of angled. So what, all we have to do is click this little circle at the bottom and we can tilt that a little bit. And then we can also tilt YouTube. So we could tilt YouTube to be the same or we could tilt it slightly, a little slight, slightly in the opposite direction. And now let's go ahead and add some effects. So actually I don't like gray. Let's go ahead and make the, the square white here. You'll notice I'm trying to click on the square. That'll happen to you a lot. <laughs> you're in good company when, you, when you're not getting the one you want. All right, there we go. And we'll come back to YouTube. We'll click on effects here and we'll add a little shadow to our YouTube. So there we go. We can make it bold and that's, I think that looks a little better. So we'll pull in YouTube there. And because we've made it bold, we'll make the background square a little larger. You can tell that I am really struggling to select just that background square. There we go. All right, and we'll click and drag like that. Now I'm going to leave this alone because obviously I, I or hopefully you kind of get the point here. So let's go ahead and stylize the rest of our text. So I'll just click and hold shift and then I'll click on effects. And let's go ahead and add a shadow to these or we could add a lift as well. Let's just do, actually let's do lift to keep things uh, congruent here. And we'll uncheck. And then black text, I don't think is standing out enough. So we'll go ahead and make this text white. And then what we can do for this bottom text, if we want minutes to stand out, is to click on it again, effects. I'm actually going to change it. We can change it to something like neon, and then we'll change it to a orange or yellow. And I think we'll do yellow. We we'll probably do a brighter yellow than that because I think it's gonna be a little hard to read when it's smaller but we can go ahead and click and drag, bring that down and we'll format our text a little more. And I'm seeing that I have some more space, so I'm just going to bring these up to 90 as well. So I've brought them up to 90 here and then I'm going to make the thumbnail box a little longer so that it actually stays on one line. Thumbnails in 10 minutes. And then I also like adding icons. So 
All you need to do to add some icons is come up here to elements. There we go, I'm already in elements. And then before you search icons, if you're using the free version of Canva, just click on this little icon right here and then click on availability and free. That way you only see the things that are free. So it's a great, great little addition that they've added here. I'm actually going to take that off since I'm using the pro one. Or, I, or you can just go pro. So let's let's go pro for this, but you can go either way. And let's say something about time. So this is uh, thumbnails and we want to illustrate that this is going to be very, very fast. Uh, please excuse my poor little MacBook here that's going crazy. And you can just choose from one of these images. So I'll keep things simple. I'll just go ahead and choose this icon here and I can actually change the color to match some of the other colors that are here. Uh, I don't think that looks all that great, so I'm just going to leave it at white here, and I can click and drag and bring it down. A few minutes later. And after playing with it for a little bit, I actually don't like the way that that wound up looking. So I'll just come back up here and choose a basic clock, and we'll go ahead and call it good. But I definitely recommend trying out a lot of different icons just to see which ones work and just to see which ones you like best. And with that, we have our thumbnail. So we've gone through how to remove background, whether it's free or paid, then how to make that cool looking silhouette around you. And of course, you can use whatever color you want for the silhouette. And of course, how to come up with the text and some of the text effects. Now, once you're done, all you need to do is come up to the right hand corner and you can click on download. You don't want to click transparent background. You do want whatever the background color you have to actually come through. Or if you're just using a white background, you want the white background there. And then you can go ahead and click on download. PNG is what I recommend doing. So this is going to be downloaded in the correct size if you started with a YouTube template. And so that there is all there is to it to creating your thumbnails in Canva. Hopefully this gives you some ideas on things you can do for your own thumbnails. So go ahead and comment below with any of your Canva thumbnail building questions. Hit that like button, subscribe for more Canva tutorials just like this one and other videos to help you grow your YouTube channel. And as always, keep building the business you love.